All right, I'm here fueling up gas at Costco, like the best prices on gas anywhere. And what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is we need to get these grocery prices under control. You know what I mean? When I first started doing monthly grocery shopping, probably seven years ago maybe, my monthly budget for this shopping trip was about 400 bucks. And now it's slowly crept up to about $700 a month. Oh, I think there's two reasons. Number one, I've gotten lazy. And I think that's a big part of it is my personal laziness and buying things out of convenience. Number two, it's no surprise and everyone knows that grocery prices are up. I have an idea. I wanna see if I can get close close back down to what it used to be, what my monthly budget used to be. Do you think, what do you think? Right now, pause the video. What do you think? Do you think I can do my monthly grocery shopping, so everything that fits in my fridge, freezer, pantry, for at least 30 days, that's gonna feed our family of five. Do you think I can get it from $700 back down to 400? Or at least close. I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty confident. I have my grocery list. That's step one. And I itemized everything. I'm doing a Costco grocery haul for you. Take you in the store, show you everything I'm buying, what all the prices are. I'm gonna share tips with you on things I'm substituting to help save money, things I didn't buy, even though I originally had them on my list to keep it down, to keep the spending down. Um, but like, how am I, you know, we still need that food, right? So like, how are we balancing all these different things? And then I have a Target pickup order for a couple other things that they don't have at Costco. Alrighty, so one of the things that I have that I use every single month, I have a grocery substitution list. So if I don't have something at home, but I have something else that could be substituted for it, all of these things compound on top of each other and really help with minimizing our grocery spending, which we all need right now, am I right? So I have a freebie for you. We call it our meal planning cheat sheet bundle. It's completely free. It's a downloadable, printable thing that you can print from home. Um, we'll leave the link to that down in the description so you can grab that to help you save money on your groceries too. All right, gotta finish filling up with gas, then I'm gonna take you into Costco with me. I found myself in the home area, which by the way, these rugs, they're giant, like what size are they? Eight by 10 rugs are on sale. One $39.99, normally $179.99. This is the one that we just got for our bedroom. I love it, it's so cute. Anywho, we just had our flooring, new flooring put into our house at home, our house at home. Looking for a rug for entryway. These guys, two by seven rugs, are only $23, which is an amazing deal. I'm just trying to decide, like, do I love it? Is this gonna work? I'm leaning towards this one, like the cream and the black. It's gonna be up against our green wall. Anyways, not on my list. It actually is on my list to look at a different store. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna use cash for it. <gasps> look at all the green plants. I'm gonna, okay, focus, focus. I'm gonna pay cash for it, separate from our monthly grocery budget. Then, if I find one that I like more, or I bring it home and I decide it doesn't match, I'll have my receipt and I can return it. Otherwise, I'm using my cash set aside for this. Look at all those green plants though. <gasps> I just want to fill my house with them. $35 for a fiddle fig thing. Okay, back to the list, back on track. Ooh, $4.99 per pound. I had $22 budgeted for ground beef, so this is gonna be $10 more than I had budgeted. That's, that's quite a bit more, so hopefully I can save somewhere else. Okay, I'm striking out again. I need ribs, and again, I budgeted $20. <laughs> so I was way off. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyways, these ones are $3.49 per pound, and they work out to about 30 bucks. And since I'm already $10 over, these ones are $4.49 per pound. Would have put me 10 bucks over again. So what I'm gonna do, look at this. This is actually gonna save me a little bit of money. I'm gonna get this guy. It's $3.49 per pound for spare ribs, not baby back ribs, right? 
it's okay. It's gonna work, and I'm gonna I'm gonna save five dollars because I budgeted twenty. Oh, good. I got a price right. Fourteen sixty nine. I budgeted fourteen dollars. I'm counting that a win for chicken apple sausages. One of the questions that I get all the time is, how do you know if you're writing down your estimated costs? on your grocery list, how do you know? How do you know what price to write down? And it's off of experience. You can look things up like in Instacart and see what price they have listed there. Sometimes you can look up on the store's website, but it's just experience and paying attention to cost. So if you're just starting off, maybe make your grocery list, go through, do your best estimate, but then mark down next to it on your grocery list, write down what the actual cost is, and that's gonna help you for next time prepare now for next time and you'll gradually get better at it. We have hot dog bar on our menu this month. So $16.99 for, how many are in here? I need a bunch. Four, eight, 12. Hmm, that's not enough. This is my favorite brand. Grass fed, clean ingredients, but I'm feeding a crowd and I don't have it in the budget this month to buy two of these. So I'm gonna keep looking for maybe another option. I am adding on one convenience factor. Pre-made mashed potatoes. These are pretty good. They don't taste like, you know, boxed mashed potatoes. I think they have, yeah, made with fresh potatoes, whole milk, they're real potatoes. They're pretty good, $7.79, and you can freeze these, and they cook up just fine after you defrost them. We are helping out at an activity for the youth at our church, so I am doing a chips and salsa guacamole bar, so $7 for this big guy, which will be plenty for our big group. We gotta stock back up on toilet paper. 20 bucks. Look at this. I budgeted $40 for dog food, it's 35. I'm down $6, but I saved five, so now I'm only down $1. Okay, we're doing good. Sometimes you're forced into saving money. So one thing we didn't absolutely need, but I was looking for, was some paper bowls. We're having um, guests over for a few days, and I wanted paper bowls to save on, you know, time, but they don't have any. And let's see how much I budgeted for that. I budgeted $15. So instead of going to a separate store to buy paper bowls, I'm just gonna make do without them. Okay, for our church activity, I'm gonna get these two three pound bags for $7.49. And then I'm also gonna get this three pound bag of Kirkland tortilla chips for the family, and that's $4.69. So excited, our Costco almost never has the big chips when I'm here, so 30 count, and they're on sale normally $17, only $12 today. Okay, only budgeted $30 for snacks. We have a lot left over at home still from last month, but this is a pretty bit good bang for your buck. So there are 30, 20 packs, 60 packs, right? Yeah, 60 packs of Oreos, two packs each for $13.99. That'll go pretty far. Okay, I'm actually gonna get this for a snack. It's $7.59 and you get cinnamon checks and then cinnamon Cheerios. I bet the kids will like that. Okay, this is what we're gonna go with instead. There is three, six, seven, 14. So there's 28 of them for $12. That's what we're going with this time. Chicken prices are still high, but not what they used to be, let's see. Okay, they don't have the Tyson boneless skinless chicken. It's actually cheaper because this is only six and a half pounds. $17.99 for six and a half pounds. That's $2.76 per pound. So this is a smaller bag than we usually get. We'll see if it lasts us. $15.99 for the Mexican blend. You get two two and a half out two and a half pound bags. I keep one in the fridge and then freeze one. $5.99 for 40 ounces of plain Greek yogurt. I get this almost every month. We use it in baking, we use it as sour cream. It's perfect. Yay, I'm so excited. They haven't had these the last few times I've come, but it's $15.99 for five dozen. So that's $3.20 per dozen eggs, which, you know, it's double what we used to pay. Okay, and then I'm gonna buy two of these because my amazing daughter is learning and loving to bake, so we go through a lot of baking supplies. $3.50 per pound, so that's 14 each, so I'm gonna get two of them, and that's 28 bucks. We go through probably two of these a week, probably. Between me and hubby, we like this. It's $10.99 right now, so that's $7 per gallon. 
but um, between three of those almond milks and then a gallon of normal like whole milk for everybody else, we can't fit it and keep it in our fridge and it needs to be refrigerated, I'm pretty sure. I know there's other kinds that don't need to be refrigerated, but anywho. So when I go and do, um, I'll do probably a midway through the month, I'll go and buy um, some more fresh produce and then I'll get a couple more of those then. 10 bucks for all purpose flour. Here's an example of somewhere that we splurge. We like to cook with avocado oil. Um, it's a healthier fat. It, I just like the way it cooks the food better. It's not as heavy. Anyways, anyways, it's $21.89, which is like an amazing price. If you want to buy avocado oil, buy it here. But you can see compared to other oils, it is actually, let's see, 32 cents per ounce. This is 16 cents per ounce. So it's double. Um, it's double the cost of like olive oil. So anyways, you have to decide and move things around in your budget based off of what matters most to you. So maybe you're not gonna care about buying avocado oil, but maybe you will wanna buy dried mangoes. Kinda like have to give and take. Some months we'll buy one thing and the other months we'll buy something different. 10.59 for two 40, 48 ounce jars of peanut butter. 3.59 for 16 count of hot dog buns. And 4.99 for burrito size flour tortillas. 24 of them. I was way off on the price on this. $8 for one. For some reason I was thinking it was $4. Did it used to be $4? I don't know. So I had planned to get two but I'm just gonna get one now. I've been buying pepperonis at Target I don't know why I haven't thought to buy them here. So, because we do a pizza bar at least once a month, whether we do like the non pizzas, homemade pizza dough, whatever. $10.99 for six, two 16 ounce things. That's a really great price. $18.99 for bone broth. Here's an example of something that was on my list, but I took it off to like lower the the overall cost so it's $12.99 for six cans of this like pre-cooked chicken so what that is is that's really like a convenience thing that I was gonna buy I don't need it I like it for lunches but I have plenty of other things that I can do for lunches so that's just one example I made like my dream grocery list totaled up what I estimated everything was gonna cost realized I was about a hundred dollars over so then I had to start going through and you'll be amazed by just taking a couple things off doing some substitutions, using that substitution list we have for you in the free printable, it can really save you a lot of money. We're doing slow cooker teriyaki chicken again. It's so easy if you just add in your favorite teriyaki sauce. All of our recipes that we have inside of our Eat Together app, we'll link that for you down below. We do the meal planning, the grocery list, all of that. You don't need complicated recipes to have a delicious home cooked meal. Keep them simple, slow cooker. Start it in the morning when the day is not quite as busy. It's ready whenever you come home. The key is to have it part of a meal plan and have a grocery list to go along with that. Eat Together does all that for you, but you can also do it on your own. Okay, they don't have black beans, which is a bummer, but what I'm gonna do is I have enough for the recipes that we need for the month, so that's kinda nice, I get a look ahead. But if you're just doing weekly, you do this on a weekly basis, just a smaller scale, right? So. I'm gonna add it to my grocery list for next month and we'll just use what we have at home. Okay, here we have it. This is everything we're getting at Costco. It looks more than we have because we have dog food, flour, toilet paper, but I really think that this is gonna help sustain us. Now don't forget, we also have our Target grocery haul that we're gonna add to this, but okay, let's go to check out and see if I'm close. We made it home. Let me show you what we got from Target and then I'm gonna give you the total so we can figure out if I was able to get back down to our OG budget of $400. Let's see. Okay, so to start off our Target haul, I got Two loaves of white bread. We're gonna make French toast. So I bought some uh, white bread for that. Those are about a buck each. I got another thing of bagels. We like to do these for lunches, especially like family picnic lunches. Bagel and cream cheese, that's it. Easy peasy. Those, these, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I wonder when you do a grocery pickup if they push the more expensive brands because they never have like the Target brand bagels anymore. This was $4, whatever. We got three things of marshmallows. Those were a dollar each. Oh, these marshmallows. Where did these marshmallows come from? Did you get these out of the cupboard? I thought I only got these ones. <laughs> these were a dollar each. 
I don't know. We need some more oregano. That was about $1.50. Marinara sauce for pizza nut. This is a really delicious canned chili. I love homemade chili, but sometimes when we're doing like baked potato bar, this is the chili or hot dog bar. This is the chili, stag chili. It's really clean ingredients and it's great flavor. These were about three bucks each and I got two of those. Dollar each for cream and mushroom, got two of those. Got two of these because again, we're gonna have company this weekend and we're gonna do lots of bagels and cream cheese for lunches. Those are about three bucks each. They didn't have the bigger size, it was out. And then sliced provolone, that was um, about three bucks for this, and I'm gonna freeze this until later when we use this. Then I got a ton of pasta. A bunch of, um, I think I got three spaghetti noodles, one, two, three, those were a dollar each, and then I got five rotini. Um, I need some for a recipe, and then we also use those for lunches, and those were a dollar each. Okay, so. My total at Costco, minus that rug because I'm using our house renovation budget for that one, for Costco haul was 428. I feel like that's amazing. And Target's order was $46. So that is a grand total of 474. Okay, come on, come on. So I put a poll up on Instagram and I was asking if you guys thought that I could do this. And a lot of you had confidence in me, thank you. And a lot of you were honest with it, which I also thank you for. And a lot of your point was, our kids are a lot bigger now than they were when we started. Than when they were like tiny little toddlers and we eat like this much food. We still have a toddler. lot. You used to be my little toddler. And we have more growing years to come. Teenagers, I'm sure we're gonna like double our, our food budget then. But that's a, gr that's a great point that our kids are older and they're eating more. And then prices, oh my goodness, where's my clipboard? You need to see what my clipboard looks like. Prices are just so hard to nail down, like from your own records, unless you have like, um, Target was easy because it's a pickup order and I can see exactly how much, but look at this. I had to make so many adjustments to like I, it's just hard to know how much things are gonna cost. One week you go in and it's lower. And then the next week you go in, like the very next week and prices have like doubled. So I don't know, it's hard to tell. But the point is, here is the point. Even though it's hard, it doesn't mean we don't give up. Being intentional, that's hard to say, is what is gonna actually save you money. Right? If I were just to willy nilly this, which is what I've been doing for the most part and just kind of, you know, it is what it is, kind of was my mentality. If I'm not intentional, I'm spending an additional two to $300 a month. Even with higher grocery prices, I still can get pretty close to where we were five, seven years ago. So, I know, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments, and I know it's easy to feel like, well, I had this exception, or, well, this is different for me. I wanna challenge you to think through those and instead of thinking, oh, this is hard for me, think, okay, this is hard for me, but how can I work around it? What else can I adjust to kind of make up and offset maybe those higher prices? And this is gonna help you save money. So we do have that free printable for you. So don't forget, just go click the link in the description. We also have the link to our Eat Together Meal Planner app. Um, right now we have a free trial going on. If you sign up for our annual subscription, you already get 50% off at that price. And then on top of that, you can do a seven day trial, which is pretty cool. So I hope you give all of those a shot. See how you like it, the printables, the meal plan, the app, it's all gonna be useful tools that we have for you to just make this process even easier. So again, if you have any questions, leave them in down in the comments and let me know what you think about this whole experiment we did today. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.